pretty cool. Let's see here. I'm gonna also check around and see what the uh Ooh, man, I went really fast. There for a second, at least. Let's see what's in these other corridors. Um there's the stairs. Right, gold. Ca mysteriously well preserved cabbage and potatoes. Um, bear pelt, gold. Zebra cat pelt. Might do a bit of a. Uh, of a. of, uh, of uh, some blacksmithing and whatnot after this to improve my blacksmithing. Yeah, I already searched those. Improve. Wolf pelt. Practice on a lot of leather, leather armor. Gold horse pelt. Yep, there's a lot of pelts here. Definitely improve my uh, blacksmithing a good couple of levels. What is it at now? Considering I don't think it's very high. I think I'm going the wrong way, but oh well. It'll definitely help my light armor, considering I have crap light armor skill. The only skill that really seems to have... Yeah, smithing, only 36. The only skill I seem to have anything... <laughs> that's anything good is my sneak. Yeah, lockpicking's okay. The only thing is really it's really good is my sneak, and my one-handed's okay. My archery's... Almost okay. I really need smithing to make up for the fact that I have really crappy skills. <laughs> that, or I could also improve my alchemy too. I also have a lot of alchemy stuff. Let's see here, what's in here? Oh, it's just more stairs that go up to Skyrim. Oh, there's an alternate entrance. So is that about it? I think that's about it for this place. I'm guessing the next time I come here that all the torches will be lit. Oh, to Skyrim. Talos. Skyhaven Temple. Wait a minute, Skyhaven. Wasn't that also the same name of the temple that was in also in Oblivion as well? Oh well, whatever. Or, no, that was like Sky Rule Temple or something like that. Yeah. It's really overlooking everything. It's a very nice place. It's kind of weird how it was never discovered. You know, it's just kind of high up here in this mountain, and it's not, you you would think you'd be able to see it from that bridge. Oh well, map. Let's see what the uh, graybeards know. At high Hrothgar. Right. What do you know? Got you. I need to learn. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? It was recorded on Alduin's wall. 
Wait, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? At least the Blades aren't keeping secrets from me. Do not be so sure about that. Beware. The Blades may claim to serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. As for me, I kept from you only what you were not yet ready to know. Are still not ready to know, as your question reveals. So you won't help me? No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Dragonborn, wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. Yeah. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. Exactly. So can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. Right. It's called Dragonrend. But its words of power are unknown to us. Right. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. So what? so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. Right. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Right. I thought you knew all the words of power. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before <laughs> history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. Right. If this shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question. If he so chooses. Right. Why haven't I met Parthenax yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. Right. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Right. So who is he? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Right. So how do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. All right. I think I might go and try to learn some of these other shouts first, though. I think I might go and, you know, like do, do some of those quests to go to dungeons to learn other shouts first. You know, get a couple shouts, more shouts in my, under my belt. Considering I have a couple dragon souls already. go out there myself. Only whose voice is strong enough, huh? I don't know, I might... Actually, no, I'll climb up there first, yeah. Yes. have I been doing this? Might end the set here after I learn the shout though.
path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Right. Clear skies show. The entire shout. I will grant you my understanding right. of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Right. To Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Right. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Okay. Well, I think. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I guess we have to use that shout. But, uh,. I think I'll end it here for this set, which was quite enjoyable to do. Save. And uh, see you next time.